thing I want to start with is a song, a song by the band Sia 3 called Croatian Rhapsody. And then afterwards, we're going to meet him, we're going to talk about him, you're going to love it. Listen to this. And welcome back to Out of the Fog. Would you like to meet the magicians behind that magic? And I said that because people say magician and musician and mix them up sometimes. So I feel like that was a kind of a cool little segue. Uh, we have Sha3, made up by Jing and Richie and Brian. Hi, guys. Hi. So that song we just heard was uh, the Croatian Rhapsody. Yep. OK. So I have a lot of questions, <laughs> which is good because that makes for like a good conversation. The, the first thing I would like to start with is, can you tell me a little bit about that 
remarkably hauntingly beautiful and at least to this white guy from Newfoundland, exotic instrument. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. I Actually, I don't think it, it is that exotic to many people in Newfoundland anymore, you know, because I've been playing this instrument in this beautiful island for seven years. So Yeah, but we've seen a lot more acoustic guitars still. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> and like... <laughs> well, that part is true. But yeah, but anyway, my instrument is called Gujen. Okay. G U Z H E N G. Uh, some people also call it a Zhen because okay. Gu in Chinese means ancient, old. Oh. Yeah, it has a long history. Yes. Like just uh, so 2,000 years. Uh, well, okay, that's not, you know, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> just basically. Just a little bit. Yeah, basically the same age as Christianity, effectively. So, which is, <laughs> that's a long, like if we think about this now, yeah. that yeah. that instrument is as old as Christianity, effectively. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, of course, the, the one I play is a contemporary version. Um, it has 21 strings, you know, back to the ancient days, um, times that they, they only had uh, uh, 13 string uh, gujen and the 16, 17, 18. So, it uh, kind of evolved a lot. Um, yeah, and uh, of course, the contemporary Guzheng music is heavily influenced by Western music system, you know, that happens. But th that's one of the incredible things about music. I think both of you guys will agree that music in general, nothing is, is ever n strictly new, as much as it is an evolution and taking pieces of other things. So if you look at, what's a really good example, just rap or hip hop from like blues and jazz and like culture and everything. So like all of that, that always happens. So I'm not surprised to hear you say that. I, I, I am, I'm not gonna say surprised, but interested to know how three random rap scallions <laughs> of multiculturalism <laughs> and different styles of music and everything happen to find themselves standing on the same stage writing songs. Yeah, that's that's like magic, right? Uh, no, we. So I first came across uh, Rich's uh, photography, uh, like art, um, when I was doing my first CD last year. So um, Dave, uh, at that time, I the uh, music and now recommended him to me uh, for doing my, you know, album art and that oh kind yeah. of thing. So that was the first time we met, I think. Yeah. I've, I've seen you play many times, especially at the Sound Symposium oh, right. and a few multicultural events. And uh, I've always, uh, we always like waved at each other, say, hey, hey, that's really <laughs> good music, oh, hi. Yeah. And we would procrastinate about getting together and playing music together because I told her. I, we uh, would procrastinate I about. I like how you <laughs> said that. Yeah. It's kind of <laughs> like you, you run into a friend that you haven't seen in a long time. You're like, we should do lunch. Yeah. And like, it's it's the the idea of it is great, but like yeah. having to do it is like there's so much work. Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's what it was. Was it was more extra work to do. But we finally did it, and uh, Brian and I have been playing for for many years, 30 to oh, 30, yeah. 35 years now. Wow, has it been that long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wowzers. Wow. Yeah, so uh, we, I, we... Since you were in the womb together. <laughs> right, right. Yes. You're actually yes. twins. twins. You were, yeah. I think we met on this stage. No way. Back in, uh, or yeah, there was a there was a show here called In the Studio. Mike Hancock. Yeah, yeah, and How, uh, Howard Pack was one of the. Mm -hmm. And well, uh, we got this is a throwback now. Oh, yeah. we're we're going way back. Yeah, and it was the day after my graduation, and I had we all had to meet up here to film, and it was in this I think in this spot here, and uh, I think I, I still have the footage of it. But that's uh, that's Brian and I. We've we've played in many bands in the past, and. Um, we we uh, we're, we're good together, so we uh, I, I brought him in when we when Jing and I talked about making music. So Heaven, um, uh, you said off camera, Brian, that you're more of, more of like a rock background. So and playing the instrument that you play, at least with this group, um, you're se you're very much setting the pace and the cadence and keeping a structure to things. Is that interesting from a drummer's perspective? Like to be the percussion, mm -hmm. to have a background in rock, and to incorp incorporate other sort of things? Or is it sort of like the music is the music, this is the foundation, right. this is, is the structure, or kind of like a bass player? Like I'm keeping 
the time and the rest of it just sort of there's a beauty of the multiculturalism like around it or like is it weird for you um I've, i just want to layer it like i i find um because when i approach rock music you're just holding a beat together and with, with this like when i hear this i just want to add so much more and yeah uh, it's it's actually opening me up to exploring new sounds and more sounds yeah. and it's given me an excuse to go to the music store and uh, <laughs> you know, go, go <laughs> shop. And so ex speaking things. of exploring new sounds, uh, Jing, how about you give us an idea of where people might be able to explore this sound of Cha 3 over the next little while after watching this and wanting more of it? Sure. Actually, we are <coughs> making a CD this year, so uh, stay tuned. <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, you, uh, for now, I only got my own uh, solo CD yep. available at a fresh record. Okay. And uh, yeah, and uh, also at some Chinese restaurant. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I think that's amazing. I love Chinese food, and now I'm getting an affinity for the music too. Um, I'd like to thank you for coming in, playing your tunes. We got another one coming up in a little bit. But first, we're going to take a little break. And ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back after this. So, I got another song for you. Sha3, one more tune that we're gonna play you out on. Uh, this is the new love of Yang Ding.
I don't even know what to say. It's just beautiful and interesting and fascinating and just this unique blend of all of these magical little bits of mwah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you spend some time learning more about Asian cultures and the Chinese Association in Newfoundland Labrador. I think Francis is gonna do a great job as president. And I hope you watch some more of Out of the Fog for the rest of this week. Wednesday, Thursday, me again on Tuesday. So much to come. We'll see you next time.